Welcome back. Continuing the news. Another child has died from a suspect, suspected case of dengue. Our news team ca caught up with the child's distraught relatives in St. Anne. TVJ Shamela Pullen reports. This is five-year-old Sharina Davis from Brownstone, St. Anne, enjoying happy moments months before her demise. Heather White, Sharina's mother, told TVJ News that her daughter got sick on October 5 and was rushed to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital where she was treated and released the next day. My mom bring her back down there in the eve, Sunday evening. During that time, they gave her the, the drip. Um, when they gave her the drip, no, they released her the... Monday morning at about four after four and then she came home. But Sharina's condition worsened. She was taken back to the hospital two days later and was airlifted to the Bustamante Hospital for Children in St. Andrew for further treatment. But it was already too late. They said that she was responding. So Unfortunately, they said her heart stopped, and that's when they tried CPR, and she never responded. They never got the heart to beat again, and that's when they pronounced her dead. Miss White blames the hospital, saying her daughter could have been given the appropriate treatment earlier to save her life. However, acting senior medical officer at the hospital, Dr. Derek McDowell, says the hospital did all it could for Sharina. Whenever patients present with a case of bleeding, dengue shock syndrome, or dengue hemorrhagic fever, they're normally transferred to a high institution for further management. It's not a matter that um, we are short and we can't manage it. We just, as a matter of policy, we send them off. Dr. McDowell also said that the hospital is seeing more suspected cases of dengue for the month of October when compared to previous months. However, he maintains that the hospital is fully equipped to deal with the cases. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.